welcome to the Property Elite podcast. I'll be your host, Jen Lehman, Chartered Surveyor and Co-Founder of Property Elite. Stay tuned each week for more on industry hot topics, market updates and new RICS guidance. In this week's podcast, I look at the service charge case of Sarah and Hossein Asset Holdings Limited v Black's Outdoor Retail Limited. This has confirmed the concept of pay now, argue later, following a Supreme Court judgment. Head to our website blog to read the full decision. This is essential knowledge for all candidates and surveyors involved in property management and service charges for commercial property. So what were the facts of the case? The tenant blacks occupied retail properties in Whitechapel and Liverpool, owned by the landlord. The two leases allowed the landlord to issue an annual service charge certificate confirming the tenant's fair and reasonable liability, which in 2018 and 19 combined totaled over £400,000. The leases further confirmed that this sum was conclusive unless there was manifest or mathematical error or fraud. Blacks argued that the charges were not fair and reasonable and included items that they were not liable for under the terms of the lease. Therefore, they stated that the certificates confirmed the landlord's costs, but not the sums payable by the tenant. The landlord argued that the certificates were conclusive, irrespective of Black's view, and as long as there was no error or fraud. So, the Supreme Court actually agreed with neither party. Instead, they held that the tenant must pay the amount stated on the landlord's service charge certificate. The tenant can then take action to challenge the amount that they are liable for. This confirms the concept of pay now, argue later, where there is a conclusive certification provision. In essence, payment of the amount due does not amount to acceptance of the liability, so the tenant reserves their right to challenge this later on. The tenant cannot, however, withhold sums due if they disagree with the amount charged. This allows prompt payment of charges and efficient operation of the service charged by the landlord, whilst allowing the tenant recourse if they disagree with the amount due. However, with many tenants under financial pressure already with cash flow issues, is it fair and reasonable to expect them to pay in full and then wait for a refund if a disagreement arises with no certainty on what the amount might be and when it might be repaid? Landlords similarly are under pressure with costs paid to suppliers and contractors, irrespective of whether they are rightly chargeable into the lease or not. The Supreme Court has tried to strike a balance between the interests of both parties. However, we suspect that future cases will be brought given the financial pressure on all parties to a lease. It's also important to remember that this case turned on the specific facts and lease wording, so each and every situation needs to be considered on its own merits. Thanks for listening to the Property Elite podcast this week. Head to our website to check out our full blog, free and paid support resources and services, free consultation for every single RICS APC and ASOC RICS candidate and also ask us any questions you have via the website chat blog. See you next week.